DJs and how it dances. And if you ask yourself, how does it do that? We're gonna show you in the next couple of minutes how easy it actually is to turn Franca into a DJ or into a dancer. And it's not gonna take you a day or a week or a month to program. It will only take you a couple of minutes. So let's show you right now how you actually can do it. We're gonna enter a new task and let's call it new DJ set. Um, and what you see over here on the screen, this is Franca Desk. So this is a highly visual, super intuitive user face. And as you can see right now, it works through drag and dropping. Very simple, it's something that everyone is able to do. So Sebastian is now choosing a couple of different skills that we need in order to become a DJ, or that Franca needs to know in order to become a DJ, which is pressing some buttons, moving sliders up, waiting a little time for the music to evolve, and then uh, we're basically good to go. So this step, he's teaching Franka the reference position so that the robot knows where it is in the space relative to the, uh, to the interface. And, with, and as you can see, there is no cage. It's different to a lot of robots, so it is a co-working robot. Huh? And it works because it's very lightweight, it's secure, it has four controls. And what you can also see, if you come close a little bit, there is an interface that's called Franca Pilot. And usually you control your robot when you're programming it on a computer. But here you can do it on the robot itself, the entire teaching process. So now he just started to teach Franca how to press buttons, like how to start the music. And then Franca will just ask you, what the information that it needs to know in order to perform that task. So right now, he's teaching how to move a slider. So he sets the starting position, moves the slider, and then presses the button again to set it to the end position. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're, if you're actually using it and you ask yourself, how do I perform that skill? With each skill, there is a video um, that's going to explain you in very simple language how to do it. So your mom, your granddaughter, your neighbor could actually program that robot. It is that easy. And um, we're, we're only using a couple of basic skills, like pressing a button or moving a slider. But there are tons of skills that Frank has able to perform. The good thing is, it will, continue, it will continue to evolve with a growing developer community that Franca um, Imika will establish over the next year or over the next years. So pretty much every developer who is interested could develop a new skill that could then be shared with everyone in the entire world. So it becomes smarter and smarter the longer uh, you use it in Franca. So we're still in the programming phase of teaching Franca the basic steps. We're just about done. Use the pilot to jump from one process to the next. And if you want to change, uh, if you want to change something and go back in history and reteach, it's super easy. So you just click on a button, and then you can change the parameters again. Okay, I guess now you're excited to listen to the newly taught DJ and let's give it away for Franca. So we're just pressing play on the interface. And off we go. This is how we programmed a robot to turn into a DJ in under three minutes. Great, thanks.